Rand Paul has come out and said that Bill Clinton should not be the number one fundraiser for the Democrats. He's a sexual predator. So they've had Liz Hurley's former boyfriend come out, uh, Tom Sizemore, and say that it was made up that the two had an affair, even though there were all these pictures of Clinton and literally wearing royal outfits with her, hanging out with her constantly. I mean, it was Sharon Stone, all of them, folks. I mean, give me a break. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton likes the women. Uh, and uh, the issue here is the sexual harassment, but that, that got the news. It was the settling cases of women that said he beat the daylights out of them, bit them, and raped them. And then he got caught lying about it. I did not have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. How dare you say that? Do you understand me? But what about the issue of him keeping half the money for his private jets for his charity? That he claims there's money for little starving kids in Haiti and Africa and the Caribbean. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So now the phone calls are already coming. I did not have sex with uh, Liz Hurley. Do you understand that? <laughs> I did not do that. I just want to make that clear right now. I've never used cocaine either. I never lied to And NAFTA and GATT is a good deal as well. Just want to be real clear about all that with you, all right? Talk about a nightmare situation. You know, the government wants us to buy our food from the company store like sharecroppers where the price is so rigged. That's what globalism is, that we never get out of debt. That's what Agenda 21 is. That's what the student loans are. That's what it, all of it is. Government runs it. It gives you the loans, but then private groups make the profit. So guaranteeing their profit. They socialize the risk, privatize the profit, but only for select insiders. Fox News, AP, they're all reporting. Bankers bulk as Postal Service floats plan for payday loans, digital currency. So everybody, they got all these U.S. Uh, different laboratories, different universities, John Hopkins, you name it, coming out with their own Bitcoins to, to challenge it. And you've got the Postal Service, who, by the way, I've noticed for five years, when we ship stuff to Europe or anywhere else outside the U.S., they're in strategic drawing rights. Dollars aren't denominated into euros or into rubles or into yons or into yens or into shekels or into dinar. They are in SDRs. That's already the global currency that the IMF, World Bank, XM Bank, and its private shareholders at the Federal Reserve are able to just issue unlimited trillions. No wonder they're taking over everything. I mean, this is unbelievable. The ultimate form of discrimination. The average person is like obsessed with their sexual preference or race or something, fighting over religion, while economically the globalists basically have diplomatic immunity and can do whatever they want. So here is the report. Uh, the perpetually struggling U.S. Postal Service has bankers in a tizzy after floating a plan to branch into what's called non-bank financial services. Yeah, give people those payday loans, the loan sharking loans that, did, that used to be illegal but, but now are getting pushed that somehow sound a lot like what lenders do. In a white paper distributed last month, the Postal Service Inspector General discussed getting into an array of financial services as a means of keeping the money-losing mail operation afloat. Payday loans, check cashing, and digital currency exchanges were among the possibilities outlined in the January 27th report. You know, the funny part is, I would actually support a federal bank if it gave people very low interest loans and it didn't use it as a political payoff and as a new bubble. But the government's so corrupt, just like with mortgages, they can't be trusted. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, all that. What I am for is state banks. You should have state competing currencies in the states. A lot of other countries and places have had that. They're very successful. And that can give loans through the state government, through a state bank for economic development zones. And, and, and that's something a lot better than the Postal Service. It's basically an arm of the socialist end of the Democratic Party. Not, not a good deal. So would the U.S. Postal Service make a better banker for the poor? Well, they're already loan sharking the poor. Man, they've got really stuff that used to be illegal everywhere now. These payday loans at high interest rates, just absolutely atrocious. Uh, what is going on on that front? Speaking of, speaking of finances, Bitcoin plunges as major exchange Mt. Gox halts all withdrawals. I'm all for new digital currencies, and I want independent ones outside of the strategic drawing reserves and rights that are coming out. But... Bitcoin, I don't know, it just I, I think the whole thing has been very, very suspect from the beginning. We don't know the providence of it. 
You see government talking about indicting people and going after folks that are involved in it. I'm just saying watch out. That's all I'm saying uh, on that front. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWars Life.com. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.